Welcome, uh, it's me Pratap Sharma. We'll be solving this uh, module T, which is for AWS uh, Certified Solution Architect Associate. And this course is provided by AWS Academy. So uh, we'll be following this guided lab and we'll be solving this uh, problem, okay? I've started the lab. Uh, also, I have uh, we can directly log into this AWS account. So here we have to follow what we have to do is we have to create a host a static website so static website have fixed content with no i don't think we have to read about all this uh so we'll directly uh go to uh task one creating a bucket in s3 uh, amazon s3 so we'll follow the exact same steps what is mentioned here and so this is uh aws management console we can go uh, to this s3 bucket either from this uh, by clicking here in s3 or by uh, searching uh, s3 here right so either way will be will be uh, navigated to the same uh, page so here let's create a bucket uh, let's just uh, ignore whatever it is created uh, let's create a new bucket so we'll follow like how they want us to create a bucket okay I we'll have to uh, do, choose create a bucket and now we, uh, we need to choose a name website one two three something like that so uh, as we know uh, it should be unique across regions uh, so we cannot write just web, website one two three so for now let's say uh, guided lab uh, learn with pratap correct and uh, let's just follow each and every steps so they say the verify the AWS is set to US East one. Uh, in the ownership section, select SELs enabled. So, <coughs> so it is US uh, uh, East one. That's correct. And now we have to say SEL enabled. And then after we do SEL enabled, then verify bucket owner preferred is selected. Uh, bucket owner preferred is selected and then it's saying uh, we have to uh, clear block all public access then select, I, I select the box I acknowledge then let's clear all this and uh, let's click on this I acknowledge and we can uh, click on uh, create bucket right so with this uh, we have created a bucket uh, You can use text to add additional information to a bucket such as project code etc choose the name of the bucket now what we have to do is uh, this was a create uh, this was the bucket which we created let's go here and it's asking me to go to the properties we'll go to the properties and then uh, we will uh, scroll to text panel uh, we can go to the text panel so we are in the text panel and then we can go to edit and then we can add tags right uh, and it's asking me to write a department and marketing uh, let's say department uh, and then we can say value marketing correct next you will configure the bucket uh, we have to save changes and let's follow along and uh, next uh, you will uh, you will configure the bucket for static website hosting stay in the property console scroll to the static website hosting panel we'll go to uh, static host server static website hosting panel let's go to edit we can say here enable uh, and we can just follow enable hosting type host static website uh, host static hub side in, uh, index document will be index.html error document will be error.html uh, so it says that you must enter this value even though it's already displayed correct and then after that we will say save changes so we have created a bucket we have added tags also we have enabled this static website hosting right so let's follow along so in the static website hosting panel choose the link under bucket website endpoint uh, so we have this endpoint now uh, let's click this so I think we should get some 404, 403 error uh, because 
uh, we have just created a bucket but we don't have uh, we don't uh, give any permission to the bucket yet right so so far so good let's uh, proceed uh, let's proceed with task 2 uploading content to your bucket so in this task you will upload the files that you will uh, serve as your index uh, static website to a bucket right click on each of this link and download the files to your computer ensure that each file gives the same file name excluding the extension including the extension right so how can i download this it's okay uh let's just uh create a simple simple website html css js uh, so since i was not able to download these files i've uh, manually created these files so let's return to the console in the bucket you created earlier choose the object tabs so now what we have to do is we have to go to this object tabs and then i think we have to upload choose upload choose add files let's also add files uh, so in this case i will be using this uh, index.html and let's use this css let's open and then locate the f uh, and select the three files that you will download so uh, in this case i'm just adding just two files uh, the html and css uh, it doesn't matter uh, <coughs> so i've uploaded so it's currently being uploaded so we uh, once we upload let's close this uh, and then uh, so in task one what we did was we created the bucket we uh, added some tags we allowed uh, static site hosting and the second task what we did was we just uh, uploaded uh, this couple of files uh, so in task three what we have to do is we have to uh, enable access to the object correct right? so object that are stored in amazon s3 are private by default this ensure that your organizer remains uh, secure so in this task you'll make uh, okay uh, in this task uh, you will make the uploaded objects publicly accessible first confirm that the objects are currently private so now let's go to this page again and let's refresh so we're still getting four or three so select all three objects so it's asking me to select all the three objects actions uh, if i'm not wrong make public via scl so we can see here scl choose make public so i have closed so let's refresh so now you can see that we are able to see the website so let's try to update the website that means uh, i want to update the index.html right in this case on your computer load the index.html uh, so let me open this index.html in the text editor Let's give me a couple of minutes open this index.html so initially there is this welcome to our website so let's change this to let's uh, learn with pratap let's save this and then uh, it's asking me to upload the index.html file so let's upload the index.html file uh, sorry add files index.html open uh, upload i need to close this 
so it's asking me to select the index HTML and make public via ACL. So we have to follow the same thing. I've selected this action, make public using ACL, make public, and then close this. So now initially there is this welcome to our website. So if I refresh now, it should say welcome to let's learn with Pratap. So perfect. So let's follow along. So your static website is now accessible on the internet because it's hosted in S3. So now we, we successfully uh, completed the task. So let's submit. Yes. So we su successfully submitted and we, got, we scored 20 out of 20. So far, uh, so we have learned how to create a bucket. We learned how to enable the static website hosting in this bucket. We added tags and we learned how to upload a uh, document. And then uh, uh, we also learned how to update the document. And then we also see how we can enable the SEL, like uh, selecting the file actions and making the making these objects public by using SEL. So this is it from this uh, module 3. So see you soon in uh, module 4 with the guided lab in another uh, AWS tutorial. Till then, keep learning. Uh, so if you like the content, please like, share and subscribe with your friends. Now we can meet again in another video.